track. The men's 100-meter dash is ready to go. Arkansas has nobody in here, but their middle distance runners still to follow. The collegiate record, Otto Bolden, UCLA, 1996, a time of 9.9. And the top contender here is Obadilly Thompson from Texas, El Paso. He'll be in lane five. Oh. Last year, Thompson, the Texas, El Paso, then junior, had his problems. Let's take a look back with Michelle Tafoya. Obadilly Thompson's championship dreams began crumbling last year in the semis of the 100 meters. He won his heat but injured his right groin. Still, Thompson returned about two hours later for the 200 semis. Favoring the groin, he pulled his left hamstring, ending his meet. It was extremely tough. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't jog for about three weeks. And seeing the Olympics on the horizon in five weeks and not racing between that period of time, it was really tough. I saw Michael Johnson set the world record in the 200. I saw a lot of the people who I thought I could perform well against doing extraordinary times, and I felt out of it, but by the strength of God, I made it through, you know, and it was a good experience overall. 21-year-old Obadelli Thompson from Barbados in Texas, El Paso, the favorite here, but some difficult competition. He will be in lane number five, his heat time in the semifinals, 10.39. All those times, of course, into uh, headwinds. Fourth in the Olympic Games for Thompson, coming back from the injuries only a matter of weeks later to get that fourth place position. And in lane number six, David Bob, the senior from Maryland, Baltimore County. I think, Craig, you would agree this is one of the weaker 100-meter fields at the NCAA Championships in a long time. David Bob, the leading contender to put paid the hopes of a Badelli Thompson to try to get the double here at the NCAA Championships in the 100 and 200. And in lane number seven is Tony McCall, a senior from North Carolina, who was second to Bob in their semifinal. And a look at the rest of the lineup. Ronnie Powell from Northwestern State. John George, Jason, Jason Shelton, Chris Cummings. Keep an eye on him in lane four from LSU. Carlton Chambers down in lane number eight from Clemson. And James Duncan of Illinois State. On your marks. Thompson Dwight. in lane number five. David Bob in six. It may not be the deepest field, Dwight, that we've seen at these NCAA championships, but Tom Obadelli Thompson, when he's on, looks as good as any sprinter ever. And, of course, he's run the fastest 100 meters ever, 9.69, with a very strong win behind him when he did it. And has a win over Donovan Bailey earlier this year in Tucson, Arizona. Wasn't that fast time and uh, the win over Bailey make him the world's fastest man? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Maybe somebody will make the match. Heavy rain falling now. Set. And a good start for both Bob and Thompson. Thompson trying to push ahead of Bob. He's going to get him. A great finish by Ovidelli Thompson. Bob had the lead with about 15 meters left and Thompson surge and a good sprint to the finish line. Tony McCall from North Carolina got third. 10.13 for Thompson into a wind yet again. And what really distinguishes Thompson is his ability to relax when the pressure is on. You see them all the way over on the right of the screen in the orange, David Bob right next to him. Bob, an excellent runner, a newcomer to these ranks, the Eastern champion and he gave Obadelli Thompson, the man in orange, everything he could want in this race. But Dwight Stone's the distinguishing factor. Look how relaxed the man in orange remains. And towards the end of the race, he really just relaxes his way to the victory. As we've heard from many of the great coaches and the great sprinters, relaxing is what it's all about. Look at the difference in the demeanor, the body language of the two athletes. Obadelli Thompson on the right, terrifically relaxed. David Bob running hard and doing a great job staying up for second place. So there's your winner, the 100-meter champion of these 1997 outdoor championships of the NCAA, Obadelli Thompson from Texas, El Paso, in a time of 10.13 into the wind and under the rain. David Bob, a good performance by the IC4A champion of this year to get second. Tony McCall of North Carolina was third.